Today, we are going to make a quick, easy apple pie using a preformed crust. Join me, shall y'all? Now, now, today, Okay, so our six apples are cut up here. We're going to throw them in the pot here to make our uh, good stuff. The filling. First thing in there is a cup of sugar. It's a half. I'm going to put another half cup. Next thing in is going to be a tablespoon of cinnamon. I was looking for that tablespoon. I was uh, noticing I had this in my drawer here. That's to make drinks with. And uh, what I call this is uh, this side here is the is my friends and people I like. And this side over here, that's half that size. This is why I pour a shot for the asshole neighbor. As you can see, the asshole neighbor gets half a shot, while all my friends get a full shot. Now we're going to add a tablespoon here of this Mexican vanilla and if uh, this is some really damn good vanilla. Anytime you can get the Mexican vanilla, damn delicious. High quality. It says here when I took that top off, you're going to buy it online, there's the website. If you're buying it from U.S. In the U.S. or Canada. Good stuff. Okay, so we poured that vanilla in there, it's smelling delicious. I'm gonna add a cup of water. So we're getting them there a stir and they're smelling damn delicious. Like Granny's house. We throw a tablespoon of butter in there. Let that melt in and we're gonna let this slowly reduce until the apples start softening up a little bit. So this package of pie shell, here come a two deep dish pie shell. So the bottom one we're gonna dock here, and what that do is uh, keep it, the steam from bubbling it up there, and it's baking. And I think the second one here we're gonna cut into strips and make a lattice for the top. At least I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll see. So I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, like, Chef, I'm not going to go rolling that other dough out and making crisscross lattice. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do it in case you don't want to do all that time. What you do is you take that second one, cut out the bottom of the crust there. It needs to be able to steam, so I'll put a steam hole in. I have one of these hot uh, cutters here. I don't know where I put it now. But from, uh, I think cookies from, uh, I don't know where the hell I put it. Anyway, cookies from Valentine's Day, so all you do is cut the bottom out, gonna flour, put some flour down on some wax paper, put some flour on your roller so you don't stick to the roller. It's gonna flatten this out a little bit and it's gonna sit right on top of there. That way you don't have to do all that lattice work if you don't want to. It's just one way of doing it. And there we go, roll that a little thinner than it was. That way it'll cook evenly with that wet stuff on the bottom of it. Make sure you make sure you roll it. Don't just cut it out of there and try to go with it. It's gonna be too thick for you. you Got to roll it out a little. These here need about five more minutes. Still a little hard, but uh, just remember, don't bring this up to a bowl, or you're gonna end up with a big hunk of rock candy apple flavor. Now you can throw a little rum in here. That's pretty good. Other things you can do with this, but this is just a real simple recipe here. So the easier version to make of this is doing the Dutch version where you're putting a streusel on top. And typically if I was doing a streusel apple pie, like a Dutch apple pie, I would add a little cream to this. So that's, that's the difference there if you want to do a Dutch or a traditional southern style pie. Okay, so the last thing I do before I make my apple pie here is I put a little little bit of cornstarch. I'm not going to use all that. Cornstarch and water. Thicken that up just a hair. So as you see there, we have added 
a little bit of corn sauce, thicken it up a little, and now we're ready to go into the pie shell. Ooh, wee, doesn't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and throw that top on there. Now put your sheet underneath it, a baking tin, because it's gonna, gonna bubble up a little bit on the sides. It's just the nature of it. And there you go, folks. Now you can go ahead and crimp this around, make it a tight, but I like to leave it just a little open anyway because it lets it help steam and cook crispy. So we're gonna do that. Up to you. Ooh, that's gonna be delicious. Now, normally I'd let that cool down when it'll actually sit up, but uh, I want some right now. I want a party right now. There we go.